In this lesson, we're going to look at converting percents to decimal numbers. Um, now, in the previous video, when we were converting to fractions or mixed numbers, we multiplied our percent by the unit conversion factor 1 over 100%. And because this 100% was in the denominator, really all we were doing is dividing by 100. So here what I want us to remember is that dividing by 100 just simply means we'll be moving the decimal point in our percent 2 to the left. And so the procedure that we can use that's a little bit of a shortcut when we're converting to a decimal number is that we're going to move the decimal point two places to the left and then simply remove the percent sign. So I'll take this 85% and we'll understand that we'll just take the number 85, the decimal points hiding out on the right over here, and we'll send that decimal point back two places. So 85% is equivalent to 0 0.85. So nice and short and sweet. In this example, we have 0 0.35 percent so I take the percent that I have grab the decimal point and move it two places to the left giving me 0 0.0035 is equivalent to 0 0.35 percent so if we have a number that has a decimal point either you know, hiding out at the end, not being shown, or clearly visible in the percent, we can just move that decimal point back two places, remove the percent sign, and that's the decimal form of that percent. This last example is a little more tricky. We want to convert it into decimal form, and there's a few ways that you could go about doing this problem, uh, but my suggestion here is let's just take this number 34 and 1 sixth and let's write it as a decimal. Right? Any fraction can be written as a decimal. So um, of course the decimal is going to be 34 point something, right? Because 34 is clearly the whole part of that percent. So I'll leave a little blank space there. So it's 34 point something percent, right? And to figure out what that something is, we just simply need to take 1 sixth and convert it into a decimal. So of course 6 does not go into 1, so we add a decimal point and a 0. 6 goes into 10 once. We get a 4, add a 0. 6 goes into 40 six times. Remainder of 4, 0, 6 goes into 40, 6 times, and hopefully by now you can see the pattern that we have going here. So remember, if we're just getting a repeated remainder over and over again, we can bank on the fact that this 6 is just going to repeat over and over again. And so since this 6 just goes on forever, what we'll end up doing is saying that 1 sixth is the same as 0 0.1 six bar, so a bar over the six that repeats forever. So 34 and one sixth percent equals 34.16 bar percent. All right, and so now this is written as a decimal, and so what I can do is I can take the number 30. 4.16 bar, and I can move the decimal point back two places, just like um, just like we have in the previous two examples. So 34 and 16 percent is going to equal 0 0.3416 with a bar, and that's how we would write this number in decimal form.